which means that they don't watch my videos and I'm deeply hurt. <laughs> They don't watch uh, Lauren's video. <laughs> Hello and hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Alright, today I'm going to do a reaction video for the channel of Lost in the Porn. Wow, I just love Lawrence in this one. And please do subscribe this channel to show support to Lawrence, please. <laughs> okay, today we're gonna see uh, seven reasons that I love being a US citizen. Wow, this is something that really great to hear. And before we start as usual, I would like to thank everyone who already to support me by subscribing my channel. And for those who still not yet subscribed, please do so because I really need it and I really want to appreciate all of you guys thank you so much good people all right uh, without further ado everyone let's go and watch what is the seven reasons that Lawrence want to share with us let's go Yay! are you guys ready let's get started yes counting as money what happened Lawrence Manise, eight months ago I became a citizen of the United States and I've been thinking about during that time so much has happened right I've moved into my first American house I bought a dog and I've just a generally dog. been snowed under with stuff and so I haven't really had a time to contemplate the fact that I am in fact an American citizen but now with that sort of time and with that reflection comes a video a video in which I talk about the things that I love about being an American citizen. And it just happens that I've made a list. I have seven things I want to talk to you fine ladies and gentlemen about today. So if you are new to this channel and you love all things British versus American and you haven't had a chance to subscribe to my channel, do that now. Do that now. <laughs> and if you are new around here, you're not going to know my backstory and how I became a citizen of the United States. So wait until the end of this video and I'll point you to another video that outlines all of that. All right. And so without further ado, here are seven reasons that I absolutely love being a U.S. citizen. <laughs> I just love him. The first him. thing he says professionally using his phone is that being a US citizen, I think, has made it marginally easier to navigate airports. And when I say that, I don't mean that I've suddenly become better at maps. I just mean that, you know, you've got off your flight, you have to queue up with all of these sweaty people, mm -hmm. and then you get your passport stamped by some individual on the other side of some glass. And that individual on the other side of some glass used to look me up and down. And I don't think they fancied me or anything like that. In fact, I think it was quite the opposite. I think they were suspicious of me. And so they would ask me questions. You know, what was the nature of your visit to the United Kingdom? Why are you back in the US? What are you going to do now that you're here? What's your mother's maiden name? You know, <laughs> what's the last four of your social? That so they can't ask things like that. That's a lot of questions. And it always just felt a little uncomfortable. I know they're doing their jobs, nothing against them. It would just hold me up a bit. And I, all I wanted to do was go and get my luggage get in the taxi ride and go home. But on this most recent visit, with my newly acquired United States passport, they looked at me with stars and stripes coming out of their eyes. And they just said, yeah. With stars and stripes. <laughs> oh my goodness. Welcome home, Lawrence. Go on, get your lift. We'll even call it- After he got a, um, become a US citizen, then the process is just like so easy, isn't it? For you, they didn't do that. That would be too useful. But they certainly gave me the impression that I was more welcome. Oh, I see. Yeah, more welcome because you are now become a US citizen. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome home, Lawrence. ID checks in general. It used to be that before I was a United States citizen, I'd whip out my lovely green card and they'd say, ooh, I, I don't know if we accept that here, mate. And I'd be like, yes, we do, lad, because th this is a federally issued piece of identification and also when did you learn to call me mate you're american so they just mate. simply didn't recognize it and then american to to their manager doesn't use that right come through and say "Ooh, ducky i don't think we can accept he was yorkshireman 
for some reason. I don't think we can accept that. But now that I don't have to do that and I can just take out uh, two things. My Illinois state ID, that was always valid in these circumstances anyway. Or my new US passport. I mean, it's yeah. not something I carry with me all the time. But I might start doing that just to feel good. Show us your ID. There it is. Picture of me. This is invisible. I'm not going to show you the real thing. <laughs> Picture of me on the inside. Invisible. Date of birth and a, a bald eagle to prove that I am who I say I am and I am the nationality that you think I'm not. <laughs> Number three, voting. I haven't yet had the pleasure, but I am looking forward to doing so in local and state and federal elections, mm -hmm. partly because I want to be able to take part in the democratic process. But number two, so that I can experience queues in America because you don't often get to do that because there's a lower population density here compared to my homeland of Britain where queues are a very big part of our culture. I have talked about this in a previous video, but oh, when you I are see. a resident of the United States when it comes to all of those elections, you are not permitted to vote in them. So I had to watch others do it and, 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 and go on Instagram with the little, ooh, look at me, I voted stickers. It's, just, <laughs> it's going to be embarrassing for me. I'll have them all over my face and my body. I'll just, I will just dress up in stickers. Um, you mean that a Lawrence cannot um, get involved in election? Or can I know why? Someone help me Number four, understand and it. This is really just tied to my desire to pretend to be an international spy. I really love spy. the notion of having dual British American citizenship. It's greedy in a way, although I've known people to have more than two and they are the, the real greedy ones that you need to look out for. I like having two. It makes me feel it makes me feel special until I realise yeah. it's just documentation and that's all it is people ask me oh did you did you keep your british passport and when i tell them yeah yeah like yeah. dual citizen mate they think that's the coolest thing or at least they they do this face where they're like neat neat it is a great need, need. but i like it sitting in the bath at night just relaxing like this going wow i'm both i am both nobody can both mess with me now citizens nobody let's see citizenship <laughs> British Similarly, and US. number five, I love telling Americans that I'm American because their reaction is always great, right? I mean, I've had relatives recently who weren't even aware that I'd become a citizen, which means that they don't watch my videos and I'm deeply hurt. <laughs> oh my god, they don't watch uh, Lauren's video. Mm. But when they do find out, him. they're really excited for me, right? They, they throw a party for me again, even though I've already had one and you weren't invited to it. And <laughs> it can feel special every time just to see the look on their faces. Unless they're mortified for me. Sometimes they are. They could be of the disposition that, why would you give up your British citizenship for this? <laughs> see previous entry. The really good <laughs> ones are the ones who are trying to patronize me, right? They say something like, what you need to know about us Americans is that we are Americans or something like that. Of course, I'm sitting there going, I am American, I am American. And I just want to tell them, but I just let, I let them speak a bit, make fools of themselves before I reveal everything. And the look on their faces is priceless. Sometimes I wish I could film it, but for privacy reasons, I can't. Privacy reasons. Yes, I do understand that. Number six, and this is a revelation, I like knowing that I'm American. I think anybody who's watched this channel for a long time will know that I've had a bit of a fixation with American culture and everything to do with it since I was about six. And since that time, I had always dreamed of coming here, if not to live, then to visit extensively. And uh, I've done all seven of those things. I also can't count. But... I did not imagine in my wildest dreams that one day I would stand before you and say, I, Lawrence Brown, am American. What do you think of that? Don't answer. So, and I do. I Don't catch answer. myself walking my dog, Arthur, who's also American, by the way, thinking that thought, oh my gosh, I am American. And then Hulk Hogan's entrance theme plays in my head. I'm not even joking. This is the embarrassing part. But imagine if I'm covered in I Voted stickers singing that song. It's going to be quite the sight and surely be shared across the internet in a way that could expand my reach, but in ways that I don't want it to. It really feels like not a completion of my journey, 
because this journey is only just getting started. But it is the culmination of ideas that I had in my youth. And I'm pleased. I'm scintillated. That was, that was a misuse of the word scintillated. But I am very happy. Scintillated. So should you be for me. So I don't want to tell you how to feel. But just please applaud. <laughs> And number seven, and this is huge, I think becoming a US citizen has heightened my feeling of belonging here. It's not that I didn't belong before. I've always felt welcome in this country, except when I'm going through airport security. And that's great. But I think that doing away with this notion of I'm merely a resident in this country, I'm glad that's behind me because now while I'm having those thoughts of I'm American on top of the fact that I own my own property it really changes how you feel about your own existence and I think it's fair to say that since I got my certificate I've been made to feel that way by each and every one of you except my wife's cousin Chad who absolutely hates me and so it simply Is remains it true? to say thank you for joining me in 2023 I hope you all have a fantastic new year it's still July. Why are we... Okay, that's the wrong script. Put that back. Thanks for watching. <laughs> I'm Lawrence Brown. You can follow me. Well, that's it. Just some reasons that Lawrence love being a US citizen. I just love what, you know, uh, Lawrence is sharing with us. And in order for me to understand more and giving more, more a lot of, I mean, more knowledge about US to become a US citizen, what that, I mean, what did you feel? after eight months become a u.s citizen because we know that a um lawrence is from britain itself and uh, yeah i just love what what lauren just shared with us just now and um yeah there is something that uh, for security checking especially on airport in airport uh there there must be a lot of questions that asking by the people working there i mean the immigration one uh officers they will ask you a lot of questions and of course uh, sometimes you feel like oh, oh my god is it really uh, something that you didn't like to to be asking that kind of question i mean a lot of questions and that is the procedures actually yeah I know that whatever after we are taking off from uh, I mean taking off of course we just want to rushing to take our luggage and take a taxi and get a take a cab and just go home yeah? <laughs> but that is the procedure that everyone have to uh, except for the citizen that, that I mean for if you're going to US, no, if you're a citizen of the United States, of course, the, the procedure is more easier than the other citizens, yeah? I mean, the tourists or the visitors and so on, of course, it's for the security system. And um, yeah, I just love um, the, what Lawrence just shared about ID checks, voting, and how that he will becoming a dual citizenship for Britain and also the United States. I love to hear that because uh, there's not uh, not much of people are uh, having a dual citizenship and uh, yeah lauren just have it <laughs> i just love that lauren shared with us after he just got the citizenships and um yeah everyone like um you know uh, welcome him uh, very well as an american and i just love that one and yeah i'm just happy to hear that lawrence is now american and he have a dual citizenship and having a great i mean life in the united states and of course having their own property and so on congratulations for your citizenship and i'm really proud to hear that kind of you know uh sharing with you uh your story and of course it's very interesting for me i hope you guys can help Help me on something that I miss on point if uh, I just if I'm not mistaken I'm asking I can actually uh, Lawrence or someone like Lawrence can can go for voting or not I just know curiosity on that and the, can someone help me by dropping comment I love to hear recommend okay this help me to do to, to I mean to help me to give me some answer on that and i think that's it for now i just love this video very well and if you do so please do share it and liking it and i hope to see all of you again on my next video until then everyone take care and goodbye you went away.